addition of monomials well we have already seen what's a monomial what's a polynomial what's a trinomial binomial so we're going to add monomials at this time so first thing we need to do is this i want us to recall that like terms and this is very important like terms have the same variables that's the key part of it okay with the same exponents that is the key part of it when we speak of like terms okay let me zoom in there a little bit more so we are right there now what are like terms and what are unlike terms so let me give some examples of like terms so here i'm going to give you some like terms and i want us to understand them why we call them like terms and here we will have unlike and here we will have unlike terms okay we need to be able to identify the difference between them okay so if i give you something like negative 7x and 5x these are like terms they have variable x variable x to the same power or the same exponent if we have 4y cube and 16y cube they are like terms they have the same base to the same power okay if we have a fraction one half x y squared that is the same kind of term as negative one third x y squared regardless of their sign regardless of their values in front the values in front are just coefficients these is the like term the variables is what makes them like terms now notice despite their numbers are not the same there they are still like terms so let's go to unlike terms now if we have negative 7x and 15e they are unlike terms compared to like terms notice they have different numbers but same variable these are like terms these are unlike terms because the variable here is x and the variable here is e if we have 4y cubed and 16y squared these are unlike terms their variables are different in respect to their powers then we go to a fraction one one half x y squared and negative one third x squared y these are unlike terms why notice the power of the x here is one the power of the x here is two the power of the y here is two the power of the y here is one so they are unlike terms okay also i want us to recall that to combine like terms we combine their coefficients so can we combine these ones here yes so let me write out the rule or how or why is it or how can we combine like terms to combine to combine like terms we combine their coefficients and at this point we should know what is the coefficient of a term okay and keep the same variable so that means the variables will not be added it's the coefficients of the variables with the same exponents so this is for addition okay so we're going to be working some examples like these all right so that's what we got go for like terms so let's go with a few examples well first of all let's say we have something like this and we say 4y plus 5y are they like terms yes they have the same variable to the same power can we combine them yes what is it that we need to combine their coefficients what's the coefficient here four what's the coefficient here five so therefore what we are going to do i'm going to show you step by step we're going to say four plus five open close bracket y because that is the values that you are combining you're not combining the y the y remains the same which is equals then what 
But 4 plus 9 will give us 9. So our solution will be 9y. Okay? Let's go with the next example. Suppose you have 8x squared plus x squared. Are they like terms? Yes. They have the same variable to the same power. So we can combine them. The coefficient here is 8 and the coefficient here is 1. Exactly. Because 1 is in front of this x squared. So therefore we're going to write 8 plus 1 open close bracket squared equals 9x squared. Now don't feel that every time you will be getting a 9 whenever you will add them. Okay. That doesn't work that way. So let's go with some other ones. Consider that you've been given the problem in a different format. You've been given it this way. 3a plus 4b plus 6a plus 3b. Now here is where you start to group things. Bring them together so that they don't, they, they're not apart. So you can combine like terms not because they're just two of them, but because there may be more than two of them. Okay? So this is what you are going to do. Let's take them piece by piece. First thing you're going to say, bring the A's together. So you're going to say 3A plus 6A. Then 4B, that's plus 4B plus 3B. Notice that their signs did not change. They remain on the same side of the equation. You're just moving them, grouping them. So now we apply this rule that if you notice the, the coefficients is what you will be combining. So here it's 3 plus 6 open close bracket a then plus 4 plus 3 open close bracket b giving us 9a plus 7b and that's our solution for that one there notice we can combine them right so you need to move them around so they're much closer together so you can work them out let's go with one where we, we see powers so consider that you have 4 c d cube plus 9c d cube can we combine them are they like terms yes same power of c same power of these so they are to the power of of 3 so how are we going to combine them we're going to say the, the coefficient now we're going to say 4 plus 9 open close bracket c d cube now 4 plus 9 that will give us 13 c d cube and that's our solution for that one there this example suggests that to add like, like monomials, we simply combine like terms. This is what this is saying. Okay? So let's go with a few more examples. Three more examples and then we should be ready for something on this topic here also. So let's go put some more examples here. Trying to keep it zoom big. Another example is, for example, we have... 4 a 4 plus 81 a to the fourth again this is the way i want you to do it they're like if they're they're variable they're the same to the same power so we can combine them because they are like terms so you're going to say 4 plus 81 open close bracket a to the fourth bring that down 4 plus 81 will give us 85 a to the fourth and that's our solution okay we go to our next one we have 8 x squared y squared plus 6 x squared y squared plus x squared y squared are they all like terms yes all of them have well, this one here was did not see this one here well this is 4 a to the fourth plus 81 a to the fourth we keep the coefficients. I mean the coefficient we're going to say 4 plus 81 which is here. And the a to the 4 you bring it. And then just add the numbers which are the coefficients. And then you get it combined. For the next one notice all of them have x squared y squared. So all of them are like terms. Okay. Because they are like terms now. This is what we are going to, to do. We will say now 8 plus 6 plus 1. And let's see where all those numbers came from. Well, the 8 came from in front of this term. The 6 came in front of this. And the 1 came where well, 1 is there. So when we say 8 plus 4, no, 8 plus 6 plus 1, 
we end up with 15 x squared y squared okay let's go with our next example i'm paying attention to this other example here too we have 32 a squared plus 10 a plus 4 c squared no e okay now can we combine all three of those terms no we cannot combine all three terms but we can combine two terms which two terms 32 e squared and 4 e squared because both of them have the same letter or variable to the same power this has a different power so this cannot be combined so the way you're going to work this out is that you're going to combine the ones that that you can work together so you put 32 e squared plus 4 e squared plus 10 a yeah, notice what i did i just grouped them so as they are closer to each other then i put 32 plus 4 open close bracket a squared plus 10 a next step 32 plus 4 will give me 36 a squared plus 10 a and that will be our solution for that one there okay so a key and a key warning when combining like terms the exponents on the variables may variables stay the same don't incorrectly add the exponents what does that mean or let me write that in words so you can remember it so note this carefully okay when combining when combine when combining like terms the exponent the exponents on the variables stay the same do not or don't do not incorrectly add the exponents so what does that mean that despite we combine these two terms here we did not say a2 plus a2 meaning then a2 plus 2 mean then which would give me a to the fourth we don't do that that is for multiplication of indices okay